If in place, the first step is to remove the old controller and make the wires safe. The new controller must then be mounted in a position where it cannot be influenced by direct sunlight, any device which might emit heat, near an external door, window, or be obstructed by curtains. Install the control approximately 1.5 meters from the floor. This is a building regulations requirement. Please note, any radiators within the same room must not have thermostatic radiator valves or any other thermostatic control fitted to them. Now you need to fix the programmer to the wall. Using a small screwdriver, press down on the tab at the top of the controller and separate the front control panel from the rear case. Next, hold the rear casing in its chosen position level against the wall and mark the fixing holes. Drill two 5mm holes in the wall, insert the wall plugs and fix the rear case to the wall using the 30mm screws. Once in place, refit the front control panel, lower the control cover, remove the battery compartment cover and secure the control panel using the two small screws provided. With this RF controller, you will also need to fit batteries. Insert two size AA batteries in the position shown in the back of the battery compartment and refit the battery cover. The control can now be connected to the boiler. For this, insert the receiver into the boiler using the two screws provided, then connect the two signal wires and the cable to the circuit board. Once the receiver wiring is in place, insert the fuse and turn the boiler on. Make sure there is an earth. The control will now be connected to the boiler automatically. Once connection has been made, the house with aerial symbol will stop flashing. Please note, the RF climatic must not be programmed until the receiver unit is connected to the boiler and RF communication is established. Once connection has been made, the controller can then be programmed. The controller features a main dial which provides several options including off, standby, hot water only and hot water and heating. During setup, set this to the hot water and heating option. The first set is to set the time. For this, press the program button and time will flash. Then press OK and the hour will flash. Using the plus and minus buttons, adjust the time to the correct hour, then press OK. The minutes will now flash. Again, using the plus and minus buttons, adjust the minutes, then press OK. You now need to set the day of the week. The day of the week will flash and using the plus and minus buttons set to the correct day of the week and press OK. Now the time and day of the week is set, the control programs can be set to meet the individual user's requirements. To set the heating program, press plus button and central heating program will flash. Press OK and Monday will appear. Using the plus button you can program individual days or blocks of days, then press OK. In this example, we're setting up for weekend and weekday. On 1 will then be displayed and the time will flash. Using the plus and minus buttons, you can select the time you wish the heating to turn on, followed by OK. In the same way, you can set the time you wish the heating to turn off. Press OK and the next ON period will appear, ON2. Repeat the previous procedure for the next ON-OFF periods for the rest of the day to a maximum of 4 ON periods. After one minute, the display will return to main menu, or keep pressing ESC. Please note, if four on-off periods are not required, then set the unused periods on-off times the same. To set the hot water program for a system boiler with alpha devolver kit and cylinder or flow smart, press the plus button and the hot water program will flash. You can then follow the same steps as followed for the heating program. Now you need to set the temperature. Please note, there are two temperature settings. Comfort, which is the heating on setting, and Economy, which is the heating off setting. The comfort temperature is the room temperature required during the heating on period. The economy temperature is the minimum allowable room temperature. Press the thermometer button and the word comfort will appear with the temperature flashing above and a symbol. Using the plus and minus buttons, set the temperature as required, then press OK to store. Next, press the thermometer button again and the word ECONOM will appear with the temperature flashing above and a symbol. Using the plus and minus buttons, set the temperature as required, then press OK to store. 
Once set up, if you want to do a continuous override, which is used to manually control the boiler, press the auto button and use the plus and minus buttons to set the desired room temperature. To turn off the manual override, press the auto button. For a temporary override, press the plus or minus buttons to set the desired temperature and the hand symbol will flash in the top right hand corner of the display. The room temperature will be maintained until the next timed on or off period. If you want to turn off the temporary override earlier, press the auto button. The left dial on the right of your control is your hot water dial, where if you have a combination boiler, it will set the temperature coming out of the tap. To adjust the temperature, simply turn the dial to the left or right. The temperature is displayed on the screen. Around 50 degrees is average for hot water. If you have a cylinder and an alpha cylinder sensor fitted, which is part of the alpha diverter valve kit, this dial will set the temperature of the cylinder. The dial to the right of this is central heating temperature, and by adjusting this, you're setting the flow temperature for heating pipes which go to the radiators. Again, the temperature is shown on the screen. If a weather compensation probe is fitted, this will display a scale 1 to 9. 